Uh, Jebsen, as we said, we introduced you as a person living with HIV. What is it like to live with HIV right now? Mahal bayan? How do you feel right now? Napapagod ka ba? Are you okay? How are you, uh, Jebsen? And what is it like? I mean, th okay. tell our, there are people watching and, yeah. you know. Yeah. Actually, uh, 10 years, looking back at the 10 years, being living with HIV, it's actually challenging. More than the, more than the physical uh, aspect of it or the medical side of it because treat treatment is available. It's actually more of the stigma and the discrimination that, that, one, that one experience because of the, the virus. Mm. It's a, you know, you get, you get to be called things and mm. stuff. And also, it also somehow limits your, if limits your uh, chances of being productive because mm. um, especially if you are going outside of your country but if you're you're uh, working here in the Philippines is uh, actually uh, pr testing is actually prohibited so mm. that's one thing uh, it depends upon the person actually medicines to, I mean up, uh, maintenance mo whatever you're taking mahal ba yan? What, what give us an idea of how many I don't know okay. pills whatever what do you take uh, I take one pill a day and it's uh, I take it uh, religiously for all my life so mm. it's it's a it's a it's a rigid uh, uh, the antiretroviral ter ter it's a therapy. Mm. So you you have to take it uh, every single day so that uh, your immune system uh, increases mm. and mm. then the, the the number of virus is uh, virally suppressed to mm. the point of being undetectable, mm. so that you will not be able to pass it on. Pang mayaman lang ba yung gamot na yan? Actually, uh, if you're um, if you're faithfully uh, paying your field help. Mm. So, pag nagabayad ka ng PhilHealth, it's actually being covered through a package called the OHAT package. Okay. So, uh, so, any person, any HIV Filipino instead. right now living with HIV has the same access to, to your uh, regimen? Yes, uh, they do. There are plenty of uh, treatment hubs or clinics where they can get... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. But, Justin, how was it in 2009 when, when you first found out compared to now? I mean, if you, you look at yeah. those, those two years, how, in the last 10 years, how have things changed, if they have changed? They have changed. I can say they have changed because I remember that clinic wherein I was diagnosed, I was actually assisted by the chief med tech uh, in his private car for me going in his to, private car. Yeah, <laughs> going to the Department of Health. So it's a, it's a, as if I'm some someone to be quarantined. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. But right now they, they get uh, they give seafarers who turns out to be very active proper post counseling mm. for so that the the, the client or the seafarer would. Digest properly. But when the they did that, uh, what was that? Was that part of the protocol? I uh, don't know. I, looking, or... uh, looking back, it was, it was my experience. But, <laughs> and there are many other stories mm. untold mm -hmm. of discrimination mm. left and right going mm. on uh, still at this yeah, point.